The new performance details on Samsung's upcoming smartphones come from the online benchmark site Geekbench. The latest listing includes the entry-level Galaxy S24 with 8 gigs of memory running an Exynos 2400 chipset, 2011 on single-core and 6086 on multi-core. Previously, the Galaxy S24 Ultra running a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 racked up 2234 on single-core and 6807 on multi-core. This isn't quite a direct comparison of the Exynos and Snapdragon performance. It's safe to assume that the S24 will have the lowest benchmark score in the portfolio. One of the significant limiting factors will be its small size, which will place thermal limitations on the chipset that the larger S24 Ultra can mitigate. Yet the historical difference between Exynos and Snapdragon justifies the concerns of the Samsung community. The release of the Galaxy S24 handset is still a few months away, so Samsung's engineers have time to optimize the handset and tweak its performance. And that's important because many Samsung fans will be upset that the Galaxy S24 will ship in a number of territories with the Exynos 2400 chipset as the only choice. Previous Galaxy S handsets, which offered either Samsung's Exynos or Qualcomm's Snapdragon, showed the latter option offered more performance and better battery life. Each retail territory offered only one option. Many Samsung users felt forced to buy a handset without the best performance. This is in contrast to 2023. The current Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra ship exclusively with Snapdragon, ensuring uniform performance worldwide. With the Exynos 2400 launch earlier this month, Samsung will mix up the silicon flavors for 2024 on the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus. The top-of-the-range Galaxy S24 Ultra is expected to ship exclusively with Snapdragon. These pre-release benchmarks can make a significant contribution to the Galaxy S24 message. If Samsung can tune the handsets to show similar performance between Exynos and Snapdragon, it has the opportunity to reset expectations around the different handset configurations. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Peace out.